and every morning you see like Starlink satellites and you see all different sorts of things up there, satellites, planes, shooting stars, so many shooting stars. But I've never seen this. I was out for my morning walk just now and I got halfway down the road and I saw something that I haven't seen here in the sky ever. I'm really hoping it's still there. There was a, a definite pink glow in the sky with all these vertical lines. I've never seen it before. And I've, got to run, I've run back home to get a tripod because I don't think I'll get it with just the phone. I, didn't, I don't even carry my phone with me when I'm walking, I'm just the watch. So hopefully, hopefully we catch this. I really hope because I'm bloody freezing. I'm gonna get this onto a tripod quickly. I don't know if it's still there. I can't see it with my naked eye anymore. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> oh, this is, this is awesome. What is this? I better do Pro Raw. Haven't got my glasses on. Don't know what I'm doing here. We'll see. It's on the maximum. I think what I'm capturing here is the uh, Aurora Australis. So far north. I've got the, oh, it's so cold. I've got the, um, my neighbor's dairy over here. That's the big bright light that you'll see in a photo, but I can see that pink glow. This is exciting. I haven't seen this with my naked eye before. This is really cool. <clears throat> I hope we get this. I've got a bit of a tree here. I didn't see that until just now. So, oh yeah, it's definitely there. <laughs> Have a look at that. Have a look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Holy moly, I'm gonna get down to the road and take another photo. <laughs> what a warning. So I've got down to the end of my drive, I got halfway down the road, and as I do most mornings, I spend most of my time looking at the stars, but because it's dark, bloody hell it's cold. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I'll get down here a bit further, I've got some more trees in the way here. I can't believe I can see this with the naked eye. I've never seen this before. Make sure there's no cars coming. Of course there's nobody cars coming, it's 4.30 in the morning. Oh wow. I was starting to think I was just seeing things. And that's not the case. I just want to get past these trees here and we'll get another photo. Turns out going for a walk with an extended tripod is quite tiring. <laughs> I think this is good enough. I'm out of the way of the trees now. I'll take another photo. I can't really hold this as well guys, sorry. Oh wow. I might actually come this way a little bit. So the composition, it's got the road in it. I think it adds a little bit to it. I'll keep this light. Actually, I probably don't need to keep the light on at all because the moon's giving us enough light as it is. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do that pro roar again. Turn night mode on. I better screen record this so you guys can see it too. How's that for some professional videography <laughs> oh wow that's awesome you'll see this in the uh in the screen recording that pink sky that's amazing i've never seen it before with the naked eye i've taken photos of it before but i've never seen it with the naked eye taking a photo now it's really exciting stuff every morning i come down here and i walk down there way down there a few k's come back and uh, I spend most of my time looking up at the sky, but to, be, to be quite honest. And every morning you see like Starlink satellites and you see all different sorts of things up there, satellites, planes, shooting stars, so many shooting stars. But I've never seen this. <clears throat> wow, <laughs> that's just awesome. I better just change this a little bit. This is one of the things with the the MagSafe holders that I was talking to you guys about on the live stream. I don't like the way that's uh, quite set. I think the left hand side is a little bit higher, so I can just, that's it. I think these are all from, uh, oh, that's bright. Just turn that sucker down. Don't need to see that much of a bald head this time of the morning. I think this is, uh, it's four o'clock in the morning here, so I'm probably gonna get this wrong. I'm pretty sure this is all from like solar flares. That's amazing but I've never ever seen this this far north. Uh, normally I'll head a bit further south, get over to Bendigo a little bit. 
So I'm going to drop that composition down just a fraction. That's just amazing. Um, <laughs> the composition of this is really good. I've got the, the leading lines of the road going to one of the thirds. Uh, max raw, 30 seconds. Wow. Yeah, so normally I've got to go a fair bit further south and I've never seen it with the naked eye. I've taken photos hoping to capture it and I've got it. I've done it with the phone too, where I've been able to like capture it on the phone. Further south, I'm talking like drive maybe an hour south of where I am. But I've never seen it naked with the naked eye ever. And I've certainly never photographed it from the end of my bloody driveway. This is awesome. I might actually get in the next one. I'll put a delay on this sucker so I can get in the photo. I'll just put this uh, at my feet there. There you go. We're actually in the photo right now. It's taking it right now. I just heard it through my AirPods. It's going to be really hard to stand still in this photo. So I'm hoping that the light from... The, the, there's a light on the ground, which you'll see in the photo, which is probably the one that's going to make me all blurry because I might be moving. Probably am moving. just can't tell. It's very windy. I'm bloody freezing. But there'll also be a bit of a light from the screen on the camera that I'm recording on which should silhouette my head. That's, that's the theory. may not work. It may be totally crap. Photo just finished. I heard it in my AirPods. Who would have thought, who would have thought that the AirPods can help with taking photos? Oh, wow, it worked. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. I'm so stoked that I got this. What I'm going to do is try an ultra wide lens ultra wide camera on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's got a lower aperture, so it may not work. All right, this is nearly done. I got a feeling it's not gonna be, it's still pretty good. Wow. I'm gonna go back to the, um, the main lens, main camera. It's a little bit crooked. Sorry, Greg McMillan. I've used that line that we spoke about in the live stream. <laughs> Just want to bring that back down a little bit so that that there you go there's a nice bit of footage of my chest <laughs> i'm so cold right now the wind is like an absolute southern wind so this is all this wind is coming from antarctica so I'm, I'm pretty bloody cold all i'm wearing is shorts of the singlet because i was planning on like walking a long way i think we're pretty much done here now um I might just take one more shot the composition's good a lot of people ask me <clears throat> about um, what settings we should use on the iPhone to capture the northern lights. And I'm going to say it's the same as what I'm doing here. Um, just put on a tripod, shoot for 30 seconds. Shoot Pro Raw, so you've got to, or Raw Max it says on this now. Shoot that and uh, you'll have more editing options later. I can't believe I got this this morning. It was totally unexpected. I'm glad I come, every morning I come out go for a walk most mornings if I'm not doing something else for exercise and I come out and I do I go up and down this road and every morning I see these awesome shooting stars and I often think to myself I wish I had my bloody camera and this morning I've come out and I've seen this pink sort of sky and these vertical lines going through I thought what on earth is that and then it's dawned on me what it was I've turned around hightailed it back home to grab my phone grab my tripod <laughs> grab all this to sit down the middle of the road. It's like an air funnel up here at the moment. I'm absolutely bloody freezing <clears throat> to capture this. Absolutely stoked that we've done this. Absolutely stoked. I'll edit up some of these photos and I'll, I'll put them on here for you and show you. Awesome, thanks for joining us guys. See you later.